What's up guys, back for another Hawkeye Star video, and with the new Origami Bird Clash event, we now have a new 4-star ticket. Now unfortunately, for the free-to-play account, even though I haven't played it in a minute, I've been kind of taking a break from it to focus on doing other stuff more, right? Since it's kind of like a big time sink doing everything twice. Uh, Gallagher's on it again, and I'll be honest with you, if I knew Gallagher was going to be on the next one, right? Because it's always like RNG what they decide to put on these. I probably would have picked him for it, because having E2 and Sick, I'm like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get E2, so I picked, like, Jue, I think, right, uh, for the old to be able to break uh, anybody, but regardless of that, right, Gallagher, Hanya, Luca, and Arlen are the four four stars. Now, kind of crazy how we went from, like, every new added character, it was like, what, Luca, Yukong, Lynx, Hanya, um, was, no, it wasn't. Palo wasn't on it. Gallagher. I'm missing someone. I'm missing someone, and I can't remember who it is. Misha. Was that it? Anyway, you guys get the gist. It was like every new character, right? Uh, but regardless, we only have four this time, and I'm going to be honest with you. It's oh, it's kind of easy who to pick. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's go over what they do. So, Gallagher is probably the best one just because firefly teams you know pretty much any break effect team right really just ruin may gallagher and harmony mc and then you know boot hill firefly um jue luca uh, you could run who is the other break unit su shang and i'm forgetting another character i can't i don't, I don't really know who all of the break units are to be honest with you i can't think of it off the top of my head but Incredible units, right? Incredible units. Gallagher is such an insane healer, and people are really loving this character. I'm pretty sure he's above Luocha in most people's picks for healers. I wouldn't be surprised if some people are saying he was up there with Huoho. I mean, I'd have to, like, really think about if I want to put him up there with Huoho. I think he is, is close, though, honestly. Very strong healer. If you don't have him at all, 100%, you got to pick him up. If you aren't summoning for Firefly, then it's, you know probably gonna be your best chance to get him just because he is featured on a banner right now there's the only downside with him is that he's on a banner so more than likely you are going to pull him if you're summoning the last time he was on a banner was acheron and considering he's on the two most popular characters banner being acheron and firefly most people probably have him if you do not have him max i'd recommend getting him if you have him e1 you have to get him please do not get anyone else i don't care if Hanya is your favorite character and you don't have her. E2 Gallagher is so essential for the cleanse. You have to get him. Please, please get him or please just do a multi and try to get him. It is insane. I have an E6 and he's probably my favorite healer to ever drop. I think I like him more than even Fushuan. I don't know about Adventuring, but my Adventuring is E1. So I feel like I'm a bit more biased just because he has additional stuff to him. But probably one of my favorite stands in the game. Highly recommend. Very strong increases um break is it break effect or efficiency before i you know slightly talk out of my ass it's in traces it is oh, it's in his dupes isn't it it was oh it wasn't the ultimate I'm st I always hate how it looks. I'm so used to the other site. Um, bestowed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They received 6% more break damage. Okay, it's break damage. Okay, I want to make sure it wasn't break effect race efficiency. It's break damage. There we go. <laughs> anyway, or others of um, he for literally clicking on everything to get to that. Gallagher, insanely good character. Then next up is Hanya, probably the second best pickup. She has a great support. Pretty much just gain, build her all speed, and she gives speeds to um, allies. The ultimate increases speed of target ally by 50% of Hanya's speed, and increases their attack. Pretty solid ult. Plus, her whole gimmick with her skill is you skill someone, and then next two hits that hit them will give you skill points back. That way, she can generate skill points for the team. She was like the OG Sparkle back in the day. Obviously, using one skill point to generate two means you only get one overall, but it's still a W and more than likely you're going to be spamming the skill over and over which will cause you to get your ultimate faster and then she can increase speed and attack so very solid character i really like Kanye. i wish i used her a bit more she's probably on one of the lower usage rates of characters that i have but very good support 
then we have Luca. Luca is a good break DPS. Obviously, Boot Hill exists and Boot Hill is better, but Luca is nothing to scoff at. If you've ever seen Gotcha Smack play with Luca for like two seconds, you'll see the amount of damage this guy can do. Very strong character. I wish I had mine built because I'd love to test him out on the MOC. We'll see if I get around to him. I do a showcase on him. But if you're lacking break units and you want to try, you know, break teams. Luca is a good pickup. Obviously, I'd recommend having Gallagher first, right? Funny enough, I think the order and what these are layered is best, second best, third best, fourth best, right? Which is funny, but Luca, good break here. Oh, this is who it was. It was Luca who was I forgetting. There we go. Duh. Anyway, then we have Arlen. I'm gonna be five million percent with you. I don't think I've ever used Arlen besides like the one uh event at the beginning of the game where you can just ult with him over and over until you kill everything and still his damage is not great he doesn't really do too much besides lower his hp and do damage and it's kind of not it he's pretty much unanimously agreed on to be the worst character in the game uh and that is exactly why i'm picking him because i only have my e5 and i have all the other characters at e6 so with this event i will have e6 arland so that is kind of cool uh he'll probably be the last character i built but i don't recommend grabbing him unless you are a super hard die die hard there we go arland fan then i guess you can pick him up right obviously if one of these characters is your favorite and you don't have the max and you want to pick them up go ahead you can do that but i'd highly recommend if you have ewan gallagher that's the only time i'd be like nah you have to get gallagher right but Luckily, he is on the banner right now. But anyway, that'll pretty much be it for the video. Let me know in the comments what character you will be picking. I haven't done this new event yet, uh, so we'll see how fun it is. I don't know if I'll make a video on it. I might, just because it's the first PvP, right? So I feel like I'm kind of inclined to see what other players are cooking. I know I've seen a lot of people are insanely good at this game mode. It's like a Candy Crush S game mode. So very interested to see that. Not too sure how deep you have to go to get in the ticket. It's just complete all story challenges zero out of five so it can't be that hard to get the ticket but anyway let me know in the comments what y'all think of the event you think it's fun you think it's too grindy do you hate it was it hard to get a four star ticket who are you picking with it what teams do you intend to use them on uh if you got anyone other than gallagher what is your reasons for not picking gallagher and of course don't forget to like subscribe for more hunger Star content uh if there's gonna be a video on this event it'll probably be in the morning if i'm not mistaken i'm not too sure there's like diverging universe there's so much to go over it's almost overwhelming but yeah anyway that'll be the video thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one